I've been journaling for over 12 years now and in that time I've tried paper journaling, I've tried journaling on my laptop. But for the last two and a half years, I've exclusively been journaling on my iPad. Let me share why. So over the past decade or so, I've journaled for a variety of reasons. It really helps me to organize my thoughts, especially because I am constantly thinking about things. It helps me relax because it helps me to get all those jumbled thoughts out. Sometimes it will even help me sleep and it just gives me a detailed record of my past. It's kind of cool to be able to go and look back on what I used to think or believe or what my goals used to be from any time in the last 10 years. So way back in the day when I first started journaling, I used just good old fashioned paper journals. And to me, there's kind of a few main benefits to Using paper journals like this. The first is that it's obviously really personal. You can choose a journal that suits your style and you can customize it with your own unique headings, with stickers, you can put things in it and you can really make it your own. There's also, I think we can all agree, there's something just really nice about handwriting. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it just kind of feels right. There's something really therapeutic about putting pen to real paper and handwriting your thoughts out. Plus they also do last a long time. You can put them in storage and they'll still be there in 10 years. Now I kind of started to run into problems with paper journaling after a couple of years. And the first thing that was kind of annoying was the fact that they took up so much space in my cupboard. And when I moved, especially, I have to lug these huge piles of journals that I really didn't access that regularly, but I didn't want to lose. I also started to notice that it was hard to go back through them and find particular pieces of, of information or history that I wanted to see at a given time because you can't search through paper journals the same way you can search through digital information. I also noticed that I can't handwrite as fast as I can think and so I would get a bit frustrated sometimes and impatient because I couldn't get my thoughts out as fast as I wanted to. I didn't always carry my paper notebooks with me so sometimes if I did want to write something down I didn't have it with me and then I'd end up forgetting to write it down at all. And while they are secure and will last a long time I don't have a backup like if the house burns down god forbid or there's water damage or anything like that there's no backup and I'll lose it forever. So that's when I started to look at journaling on my laptop and so I pretty much moved over exclusively to journaling in Evernote and there are a few benefits to me of doing this. The first was that I can get my thoughts down a lot faster. I can type faster than I can handwrite. Of course digital journals are searchable so if I wanted to look up previous information I can just do a quick search. I can even add things like hashtags and categorize my different notes. So if I do want to go back and look at them, it's really easy to browse through. Another big benefit was that it's all backed up online. So no house for her, no flood will ever be able to touch any of my online entries. And the other two big things was I had no huge pile of journals building up anymore. It didn't matter how much I wrote in my digital journal, it wouldn't take up any more physical space, which was a huge plus. And I also often had my laptop with me whether I was at work or at home. So if I did have a thought that I wanted to jot down, I could do it relatively easily by just opening my laptop. But then again, some problems started to arise with this form of journaling for me. The first was that it just wasn't the same as handwriting a journal. It doesn't have that same personal feeling. Again, I'm not quite sure exactly what it is about handwriting that just feels better than typing on a keyboard, but I missed that. And combined with that, it's just not as personal. Right? Typing in Evernote, sure, you can sort of customize, like you can format your entries with bolds or headings or whatever, but it's nowhere near as personal as a paper journal. So I definitely missed that element. And then the other question that sort of started to come up for me was, am I really still getting the benefits of journaling when I'm kind of just speed typing out my thoughts onto a computer versus really taking the time to slow down, to think about my thoughts, and to handwrite them kind of slowly on a piece of paper. And so enter a couple of years ago, I got my first iPad with an Apple Pencil. And one of the things I was really keen to try out was journaling because it's got all of the benefits of journaling on a laptop. Like my iPad is often with me, whether I'm at work or home, it's all searchable. Again, even if I handwrite my notes in something like GoodNotes, you can search through handwritten notes because they're digital. And again, no matter how much I handwrite, it won't take up extra physical space. So there's no huge piles of journals to leg around with me every time I move house. But the reason that the iPad beats out the laptop in terms of journaling for me is because it gives you back that handwriting experience. And it really forces me again to slow down, to just take a moment and to express 
how I'm feeling or what I'm thinking in a really organic way. And I've found that's been really good for me, for my mental health, for my physical health, all that kind of stuff. Plus, it is more personal and customizable on an iPad. Again, because you can handwrite and draw things that are unique to you. You can add things like stickers. You can choose different types of digital paper and you can choose different covers for your journals as well. Now, of course, handwriting on an iPad is still not quite the same feeling as handwriting on paper. And some people hate it, but I actually don't mind it at all. And to me, the trade-off of not writing on actual physical paper is totally worth it for all the digital benefits that come from a digital journal. Now, I do still use paper journals. I use this journal pretty much every day, but I use it for checklists of things that I need to do rather than for extended journal entries. And it's great because I can keep it on my desk. I can keep it open. It doesn't have a battery that's going to go flat. And it just feels good to check things off throughout the day. Now, in terms of the particular app that I use for journaling on my iPad, like I mentioned, I use GoodNotes and there's plenty of good options out there, but this is just the one I use. And like I said, I love the fact that you can have custom covers for your notebooks. So you can organize them into folders. Plus you've got different styles of pens. Of course, you can change the different colors of the pens. You've got highlighters, stickers, you can insert images and more. Plus I noticed that recently they've added the feature where you can record audio notes right into your notebooks. So this is just another benefit to a digital notebook versus a paper notebook. Plus in GoodNotes, if you do want to collaborate with other people in your journal, then you've got that option as well. So in conclusion, to me, I just find iPads are kind of like the best of both worlds or as close as you can get in terms of the best of both worlds. You still get the physical feeling of handwriting and that customization of making your journal your own while still being able to digitize all your entries so that they're searchable, they're backed up and they don't take up extra physical space. So I definitely encourage you, if you do have an iPad and paper journaling or journaling on a laptop just aren't quite doing it for you, give journaling on your iPad a try. It might not be for you, but it also might be just the thing that you're looking for. So let me know in the comments, what do you journal on? If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing. Plus, if you do wanna go the extra step and help support my channel, I actually have a notebook on my online store that you can order. There's nothing that you can't buy anywhere else, but it does help support my channel. So feel free to check that out in the link in the description if you're interested. But other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.